Destiny Connect TikTok Travelers. Have you ever played a game that is so average it's hard to like it or even hate it? Something that rides the line so much you were thinking they were aiming for that? Well, that's pretty much how I feel about this game. There are glimpses of what could be a great RPG, but it felt like the creator said, meh, that's good enough. This whole title feels like if they just went one extra step in a lot of their decisions, they could have had a really fun RPG to play. It's kind of funny, this whole thing kind of posits the idea that Y2K ends up screwing up the world. I know most of you out there are probably too young to even remember Y2K. But back then, people were really scared that some computer glitch would destroy the world. You know, like planes would fall out of the sky, ATMs would stop working. It was nuts. In this game, at the stroke of midnight, time stops for almost everyone. This has you playing as a girl named Sherry, who needs to find out what happened and try to stop it. So you would think this was her story, but it's not. It's Isaac's, since if he dies, the game is over. It was very odd to make a secondary character more important than the main one. I mean, some RPGs do that, Lunar 2 for example, but they really can't kill off that character. It's usually one in the background that helps out occasionally. In fact, you don't even have to play as her. The only character you can't switch out is a time-traveling robot that looks kind of like the metal version of Baymax from the big Hero 6 movies. It's a sign to be Sherry's protector, but more importantly, he's also a walking time machine, sort of. It takes a while to get it to work perfectly. You're gonna jump to the past and the future to try and figure out why time is stopping all the while appliances are coming to life to kill you yeah i didn't mention that the enemies in this game are washing machines and chainsaws and tvs or any other unremarkable electronics you might think of all of the enemies are walking around, so you're always going to know where they are. So if you want to avoid battles, you can. And you're going to really want to because battles get a little tedious. That being said, you will have to grind for levels. Just don't pick the random enemies to do it on. Find this chainsaw guy every time he gives up lots of experience. And it's fairly easy to kill. He just has a lot of hit points. I would jump up 10 levels every 30 to 40 minutes using this method. The world that you explore is very dull. There isn't anything really worth looking around for unless you really want to find hidden chests but luckily the map will show you where they are every place they have you interact with is so drab and basic i think they didn't bother making it interesting because most people are just going to run past the enemies and not look at the level design you can level up your character's skills as well as get new skills over time they are very useful depending on the one you pick and i intended to only use certain moves as they were the best isaac can be upgraded or even transformed into different versions of himself with new moves and skills this is one of the best things about this title and it was very enjoyable to see him transform and see the animations that came with it. One of the most disappointing things about this is the complete lack of voice acting. The whole tone of this feels like they were going for a my first RPG, but they don't do the most basic thing of at least giving you character voices in the cutscenes. Now I do want to say the music though is outstanding. I'm going to do something I normally don't do and I'm going to show you the intro of this game. Well, a little clip of it. It actually goes on for quite a while. I really enjoyed the music that much and I want you to hear how dynamic it really sounds. Destiny Connect TikTok Travelers was okay. That is going to be the highest praise I'm going to give it. It was aiming for average and it nailed it perfectly. Every time it could have taken the score up, it didn't try. With the exception of the very beautiful intro. Now the question is, was it fun? Yeah, sometimes. Was it boring? Yeah, sometimes as well. Different sections had more of an appeal to me, but the recycling of enemies and bosses sure did get annoying. Now, should you buy this? No. It's not a bad game, it's just very underwhelming. There's just so many other fun turn-based RPGs out there to play, it's hard for me to say it's worth your time to play this. This is on the border of sale or skip. If you could find this on a really deep sale, yeah, go for it. If not, I would just skip it.